the all-new Nissan lineup from your Award of Excellence dealer. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Welcome back, everyone. Talking about a pretty nice day around the valley. How oh, summer-like. Take a look at our time lapse on our Graber Post Building Scowage Network camera. Looking west toward the courthouse. Not much in the way of cloudiness today. Turned out to be a pretty nice day around the valley. Hot one. That's going to stick around for a while. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Summer returns. Some rain on the way as well. Boy, we got some rain late in July. That helped out. Man, it's going to turn a little cooler. Right now, 89 Terre Haute. Dew points up there at 70. It's back to that muggy weather. Dew point here at the studio, 74. Air conditionings are running tonight. 94 is what it feels like. Southwest wind to temp the pressure steady at 3008. Lows not too bad. 64 at Paris, warm to 65 at Terre Haute, a warmer 69 at Vincennes. And the highs managed to hit the 90 mark in a lot of spots, including that US 50 corridor, 89 at Terre Haute. 90 here at the studios. Right now, north to south, it is 86 in Paris. Tarot's at 89. Vincennes is 91. Newton checking in at 92. Bit of a heat index. This is what it feels like. 94 in Terre Haute, 93 Robinson, 89 over at Mantu, not too bad there. 97 at Flora. Bloomington and Washington feels like 90 degrees. Winds, they'll be light tonight. More of a southerly flow in here. That south southwest breeze helping pump the temperature up. If you're headed out tonight on the Metro View, other than being on the warm side, watch those temps in the lower corner there. We're going to have a lot of clear skies. In fact, what few clouds we had today, I think, will dissipate pretty much. Some cloudiness to the north of us, but looks like a clear night coming up around the Wabash Valley. Big picture, little frontal boundary right there, as you can see. For us, though, other than just a few hit or miss clouds, the rain is staying well to the north. But that stuff that's moving into Missouri, that's continuing sort of an east northeast track, and it will dissipate as it gets closer to us. We have fairly stable and reasonably dry air in place. Future cast, decent handle on things. You might have popped up a heat-induced afternoon shower here or there today, but uh, most of us stay dry as a moan out there. It's just going to be a question of cloud cover. I think we'll cloud up a little bit more tomorrow, even more so than what you're seeing there. So we'll call it mostly cloudy, especially later in the day. That's in advance of more moisture pulling into the region. I think we'll be dry, though, until we get into Tuesday. We'll keep an eye for late Monday night. Future radar, here's what it thinks is going on over the next 36 hours or so. It keeps us dry also. Our next line of showers and storms will come in from the west, northwest. And again, I think that'll be either real late Monday night or more likely as we go into the day on Tuesday. So a dry weekend and a hot weekend as well. Big picture, regionally you can see the little frontal boundary kicks on through. It's an ill-defined front, no cold air behind it. We stay dry, get some sunshine still, even going into Monday. And as we push into Tuesday, that's when we'll start to watch for rain to form back up. Here's late Monday, 6 o'clock, I should say. That's the line that could push in here, oh, maybe... 11 o'clock Monday night, so we might have to put some rain in there for Monday night. Tonight, 67, a warm night, clear skies, going to be on the muggy side. 91 tomorrow. It'll feel several degrees warmer at times, too, with the heat index. Uh, mostly cloudy day, I think, as we go late into the day after a clear start. And then looking ahead, doesn't look too bad. After the rain, it's likely on Tuesday, it'll taper off Wednesday, drop the temp down to 81 as a cold front moves through. Gradually nudge the temps back up. Thursday, Friday looking really good. Next weekend, close to seasonal. A lot of clouds, but it looks like a dry weekend coming up.